All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakadash. Yahweh being the one true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and much love to the one third of the believers, the men, women, and children that are listening, learning, and helping. In all sincerity and humility to you all, I say Shalom and greetings. Uh, we're the West Palm Beach GMS Salt uh, Branch. You know, we're just coming back through the spirit. Uh, Lord, when this lesson is edifying. So as we kick off a so-called new year, right, um, we're expecting more calamities and woes to come to Babylon. You know, and uh, honestly, you know, each year that comes by, you know, I was talking to uh, Gabar Yahweh earlier, and he was saying how, man, you know, the apostles, each year the apostles say, hey, man, Lord willing, this the year. Lord willing, this the year. You know, but the thing is to look back on the things they've done and to realize their testimony of faith to keep fighting and keep enduring regardless of what they've seen or regardless of the things they've been through. So now we're prophesying more judgment to come to this place. We're prophesying more woes. Somebody can grab that uh, More woes, more calamities. You know what I'm saying? And this is the spirit and the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And we're going to see these things come to pass, man. Because one of these years, Lord willing, this year, but one of these years... It's going to be true, man. All right? It's going to be true when the uh, apostles and the brothers say, hey, Lord willing, this the last Christmas. Lord willing, this the last New Year. We're waiting on that day, man, because right now these people are out celebrating. All right? They're out. And then we already see the mirth is gone, first and foremost. But they're still trying to cleave on to something that's non-existent. You see what I'm saying? Because we're seeing the, uh, we're seeing the mirth go away. We're seeing these people just trying to make something. When uh, the Omarion is going crazy, they're still trying to be in that same murky spirit, you know. And so at the end of the day, we know that uh, the Lord promises that more plagues are going to come, more pestilence are going to come, you know. So unless the brother got a precept, got one on that. Second Ezra 15, um, but you can, well, if you got, you can bring yours on first. Of all. It's Ezekiel chapter 7, starting at verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, power and evil, and only evil, a whole is come, and end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. You see? So evil is coming, man. All right? And this year that we're coming up is going to be perilous times. The time of Jacob's trouble is drawing nigh. Okay? And evil times is coming. Evil meaning what? Bad times, man. And so, uh, you know, uh, just meditating on what's coming. Like, hey, the end is come. All right? It says it watches for thee, man. And that's why the scriptures talk about uh, though it tarry, wait for it, it shall not tarry, man. Right. We're seeing uh, the biblical prophecies come to pass, and we're excited about it, man. If you're in the right spirit, you're excited about these things, all right? Because this is all the things that the Heavenly Father has promised us. If if this place doesn't collapse, then that means that we'll never rule, you know? And we, we want that. You you ought to be in the spirit of wanting that. So, you know, even the titles, we always say New Year's Eve of Destruction, because we're expecting a bajum from the Heavenly Father. We're expecting this place to be destroyed, okay? We, we sound crazy when we say these things, you know, to, to the people in the world. You know, they look at us like we're bugged out, but we're not bugged out, man. You know, we have the understanding of Yahweh Shemel Shah, knowing that, you know, we're at the end, knowing that we're getting ready to receive the kingdom. You know, while everybody is out there celebrating, we're celebrating for a whole different reason. You know, we're celebrating that the Lord increased these curses upon our enemies. Increase the, the this destruction that's getting ready to fall upon this place, as we can see them already happening. You know, so we're cheering on Yahweh Bashim Al Shah to increase it more and more. You know, because we're trying to get up out of here, man. That's Just right. like the brother said, man. Right. You got some brother. Right. Right. This is Ezekiel seven, starting at one. Moreover, the word of the Lord came upon me, saying, "Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord, power unto the land of Israel, and in the end is come." upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. You see, because the people think that everything they've been doing, you know, that, that they got away with it, okay? You, 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 you've been selling drugs, you know, for, for decades. You know, you've been, you've been uh, having sex with other man's wives for decades. You've been rapping, you've been, you've been spewing out wickedness, all right? And, and this is the year, you know, Lord willing, this is the year of salvation. And Lord willing, you know, we, we see our enemies uh, fall, okay? And um, 
verse 4, and my eyes shall not spare thee, neither neither will I have thee pity. You see in uh, the death angels, all right, as it says in Ezekiel 9 and 4, all right, the Lord going to give them the code. All right, like it says in Cyrus, right, they shall not transgress his commandment. You see, because you got, you're going to have spirits out here created for vengeance. The angels, all right, they, they, everybody waiting to get down, all right, on, on the wicked. Okay, and it says, and my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, for I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh shall shine. You know, and, and, and the Lord will have the, that fear is going to be back in the world, all right? Because right. people think that, that, that the Lord, you know, he died, or, or he's just taking a nap, or he's just allowing these things to happen. But the Lord, you know, he's, he's setting you up for the ultimate uh, judgment, the ultimate okie doke. That's right. Hey, and to back you up, brother, a lot of judgments has been going out these uh, past couple of weeks, man, towards the ending of this uh, so-called year, because it's not really the end of the year, but nonetheless, in Babylonian time, a lot of judgments been going out, man. So like your brother said, you're going to recompense you of your ways, man. I got one more. Uh, Ezekiel 7 and 5. Oh, it's a spirit, because he already read that, so it's a spirit. Oh, yeah. oh, come on, come on, come on. No, you can hit the spirit for one. The second Ezra 15 and 8, it says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profoundly commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. See, and this is the spirit that we're in, because the Lord says that he, he's going to hold his tongue no more concerning their wickedness. We're seeing the height of sin in the world. We're seeing the height of sin in Babylon. And so the Lord is going to, he, he's right now, he has his men out there, prophesying the downfall of this place, letting these people know. So he says, the righteous complain continually, right? So if you're, you're in the right spirit, if you have something to say about what's going on in the world. And see, the thing is, these people don't. They they out, uh, you, these people are trying to go out tonight, trying to get drunk, trying to uh, do anything to celebrate, bring in the New Year's. And I was uh, listening to the brothers in Atlanta, you know, the brother Captain Alba, he's up there. He said, uh, you know, they're finding a shortage of champagne this year. Mm. You see, which is spiritual because champagne is supposed to be a drink of celebration, right? So now they have a, sh a shortage in it. People aren't getting it as much. You know, there was a point in time where only the people who were drinking champagne were, because it was expensive, you had to be of the elite and you had to have money. But see, now we, it, there came a time where all these other regular everyday Joe Schmoes are popping bottles, but now we're seeing that celebratory spirit decrease more and more. All right, no more worth in the land. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> bring that up. Okay, this is Isaiah 24, starting at verse 7. The new wine morning, the vine languishing. All the merry hearted do sigh. That's right. The All the merry hearted do sigh. That's the, these Babylonian people, man. They supposed to be merry hearted, but they sign. And that spirit, I, it was a chick of Uber and her earlier, and she in the back seat. I just heard. <sighs> and I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? The merry hire new side because this is supposed to be their New Year's, but these people, they like, man, I can't go out. The strain is coming down. Everybody's getting sick. You see what I'm saying? And so the Lord is uh, is retracting that joy out of their spirits, man. You got it, bro. All right. Uh, Second Acts 15 and verse 9. And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a as a pain and slack. And just to touch on that real quick, guess what, man? Certain members of the elect will be put to death by the hands of you wicked doers, man. And the Lord is going to require their blood upon you. That's right. Verse 10, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. See, he said he's going to smite Egypt with plagues as before, which how you know that this place is modern day Egypt, all right? Because he, he's not talking about smiting the land of Egypt anymore. He's talking about smiting this new Egypt, which is Babylon, America. You know, and the brother was mentioning, uh, you know, the, by a lot of some brothers may uh, perish by the hand of these wicked doers. It's the same, just like Cain and Abel. All right, he, he said about Abel when Abel, uh, when Cain slew Abel, he said, Your brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. You see what I'm saying? So now his spirit, all right, is, is hey, now we through the spirit, we know who Cain is. We know who the descendants of Cain is. We know who the descendants of Esau, Edom are, all right? But Esau, you're not going to win this war. And these plagues, they, they jumping around, man. These, these, uh, uh, these strains and all of this stuff. You know, it don't matter. The Lord is jacking people up left and right, man. And you got to believe in the Lord to uh, fight through these things, man. You know? Anybody got something? 
Matthew 23 and 35, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Berechias, whom you slew between the temple and the altar. You know, that's backing up what the brother just said. That's right. That, that righteous blood, man. And we, Lord willing, we're the men. We, uh, we descend from a righteous line. Okay? And so now... We're in, the, in that spiritual stead of crying out to the Heavenly Father, sighing and crying, asking Him to deliver us, asking for salvation, asking for the destruction of this place. Because when this, you got to, like, like, like how simultaneous we talk about the missiles are and the deliverance of the uh, Lord's elect, hey, that's, that's letting you know that that's also spiritual because we talk about that grabbing of the heel and pulling Esau out of that power seat. It's, it's a simultaneous behavior of us pulling down him down and us going up. And you see, it start with the word. That's right. With, with, with righteous judgment going about, man. We, you know, we're, we're with by the spirit of his mouth, man. You know, we're, we're bringing that, we're bringing down this kingdom, man. We're shining the light on Esau, Edom's wickedness, man, and all the other nations as well. You know, uh, telling our people who they are. This is all a part of uh, Esau, Edom going down in our in our kingdom being established. That's right. You know, waking up his people, the elect. All right. Uh, he's asked these seven of Uh No. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 4. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Especially with uh, this uh, so-called holiday that is going on now, you know, everybody's in the house of mirth. Or well, at least trying to get in the house of mirth. You know, they try to they try to gather up that that uh, that, uh, that Bacchus spirit. Yeah, they're in, a, they're in the spirit of Janus, you know, new beginnings. You know, but so-called 2022 is going it's going to be worse than 2020. Well, it's just gonna get worse and worse. Cause it's just like we read, uh, the Lord is smiting Egypt with plagues as before. So it's just gonna get worse and worse. So Lockie, just a quick point to back you up. That's the spirit. Cause look, what happened? What was one of the plagues that happened in ancient Egypt? Plague of darkness, man. Right. Expect more EMPs to come out too, man. All right. Cause that's a part of Esau's craftiness and his plans. Cause literally, whether you want to believe it or not. All right, Esau's plan is to set up their agenda, right. okay, and their part of their agenda is to implement martial law. Right. And so when them EMPs go out and the people don't have them utilities and stuff like that, they're going to be crying and running to their daddy Esau, man. Yeah. Because even with, this, with these phones and stuff now, man, uh, you know, if you take a, they got videos of you taking like a phone from a teenager for like an hour, they go crazy. You know what I'm saying? These people don't know what to do with their technology. And I, I was thinking through the spirit. Y'all know how I be making my joke about uh, driving a cyber truck in Jacob's trouble. Even though I be serious, but you know, I always say it to the brothers. But I started to think on a spiritual level, the Lord got Esau creating electric vehicles for us. Uh, That's what's really going on. The brothers don't have vehicles in Jacob's trouble. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because all these other people, depending on gas or that, once they EMP strike, they done with it. Right, but an EMP don't necessarily destroy the uh, the hardware. An EMP just shuts it down where it needs a boost to start up again. The men of the Lord gonna be having those super power, those uh, spiritual powers that are spoken about in Isaiah the fortieth chapter. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're waiting on, man. So hey, that's the Lord using Esau to create the things that we need, man. The car just started for real. That's how it's gonna be, man. You know. You got it, bro. Just have a cool. Chapter 2 verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it, it will surely come, it will not tarry. And this is speaking about in the day of the Lord. And as we you know, progress, you know, as Esau is trying to progress his NWO, and we are approaching the day of the Lord, man. And verse 4 says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just but the just shall live by his faith, you see? And the, and the scripture said the just is gonna live by faith. So as we see these doors closed, and that's the doors of mercy, you know, us, you know, Lord, when we be a part of that number, we have to live all right, by, by faith, man, because we're not gonna, you know, Esau, Edom, we're not gonna stay upon Esau, Edom. You know, we're not gonna trust in them. We put our trust in how about you now, Sean? You see, in the world, has to you know learn to do that because he saw Edom is it, it, trying to kill him, man. But you know, us men of the Lord, Lord, when we be a part of that number, we put on our faith and trust in how about you now, Sean? They had something that came out recently talking about uh, basically, uh, you know, that once again, they say Jake can be the first ones to go in and get the uh, uh, the new jab for the uh, Omarion. 
You know what I'm saying? It's always about killing Jake, man. All right. You know, and hey, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm still mentioning. I did a video on it. Uh, goddamn, uh, Nate. You know, Bishop Nathaniel. He's on a goddamn Illuminati card, man. You see what I'm saying? Like, so, what? Well, come on, man. You know, like, what's the odds of that? You know, somebody was like, it might be fake. It might be, but shit, it's spiritual too. You know what I'm saying? And that came out in 1996, man. You know, this man been is sold out. You know. And that, why you think his congregation is the way it is, not through the spirit, you know, because it's not about your numbers, man, all right? The, but the spirit that they're dealing with is, is, is utterly wicked and abominable. But I got something real quick going in with what the brother was saying. This is Isaiah 10 and 20. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him that smote him, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. You see? So we're, we're staying upon the Holy One of Israel. And these these grievous times come, you're going to have to believe in the Lord, man. All right? This might be, who knows what the apostles about the coin this year, man? You know? It's about to be much famine, much death, much plague, all of these things. But we're looking for the right-hand side of things. We're looking forward to eating. We're looking forward to drinking. We're look, This may be the year that the Lord decided that our enemies are going to weep and mourn and we're going to rejoice. You know? So, hey, that's the kind of things we got to be prepared for through the Spirit. You know? Quick pre. This is uh, Job 14. Verse 5, and it says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. All right, so the Lord has a, a appointed a, a appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. While he's over here counting his years, talking about, you know, what they're going to do 20 years from now, 30 years from now, the Lord is counting them down. All right, the Lord has already, he already has a bound which they cannot pass. All right, so they thinking that they're going to get past this whole new, you know, uh, 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 destroying of this economic system and uh, uh, bringing this whole thing down and establishing a new world order. It's not going to happen. You know, this is all the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. They have a bound, they have bounds that they can't pass, man. All right? Let me see, if, let me uh, read a little more. And it says, Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as an hireling his day. All right? Uh, I have a second precept. I can bring it out real quick. All right, uh, this is uh, Job 5, all right, 5 verse 12, and it says he disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, and this is what the Most High is doing, man. They actually think that they're getting ready to establish their enterprise, all right, because people, our people are not, uh, they're not aware of what's actually getting ready to happen, at, you know, uh, day one of this new year. It's this so-called new year, all right? A lot of these numbers are going to start to uh, uh, start to show you know, a lot, a lot of, the, a lot of things that are, are supposed to happen, they're going to happen economically. You know, you're going to see uh, uh, inflation going up at a rate that that's going to be very noticeable. All right, all these things are going to start to happen. All right, he's going to start to mandate particular things that we all know about. All right, and and, and he's going to push these things. He's going to go hard. You know, but the Lord is going to go hard as well on the right hand side. This is this is Job 19. In verse 5, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. All right, and that's speaking about Esau and Edom, you know, it's, it's only for a moment. You see, and, and we're coming into, like it says in 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, all right, Esau, he's the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of his death follower. All right, the end of that world means the end of an age, the end of his rulership. All right, and like the brother said, you know, the Lord got it down, all right, down, down to a specific day. Pacific hour, Pacific second, all right, all that, all right, and he, and no matter what he, no matter what he tries to do, he can't prolong his days. It says, verse six, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever, like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yet he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Coming in, and this is this is the uh, hour that we in, all right? The the, the hour of, of Esau falling, you know. And, and we sit back, you know, enjoying it, enjoying the show. I got a quick one to back you up. It's Revelation nine and verse fifteen. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. So that's backing up what the brother said. There's a specific time set for Esau Edom's destruction. The third part of men represents Esau Edom. You have the sons of God, 
the sons of men, which are the, the sons of God are the Israelites, the sons of men are the heathen, and the sons of the wicked are the Edomites, man. And to back the brother up, hey, if, if, uh, if Esau's end is near, guess what? All those who put their trust upon him, your end is near too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and I just wanted to say, uh, you know, me and the brother Gabar was talking about how fast this year is going. Man, the title this year was Hasten in the Day of the Coming of the Lord, yep. right? And this was the year that they said uh, it was some some seconds taken off of a minute or something like that, yeah. you know? And so that lets you know that this thing is spiritual, man. All right, we're hating. For, for a whole year now, we've been pushing one video a day. Y'all really got to think about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot, man. That's, that goes to the glory of the Lord because now we, we hastening to get out of here. You know, that's what Isaiah 62 and 6 says. Give him no rest till he established and make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. It's been a whole year we've been doing that, man. So the Lord is, uh, it says uh, in the second Ezra, pray that your days be short, man. All right. So we're praying for shorter days so we can get up out of here, man. He doing that for the elect's sake. And Yahweh Shah is about to come back in a vengeful spirit because these people have been disrespecting his words. All right. A uh, quick one. This is Isaiah 42 and 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. And prevail means to overcome. All right? He's going to destroy them. All right? It says, uh, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. All right? It's because he's been sitting, sitting in the heavens waiting patiently. Okay, and so now the Heavenly Father is about to give him that green light very soon. And we can see the times are coming closer and closer with Esau bringing forth his chip. Uh, Elon Musk said this year he's going to be putting chips in people's brains. All right, we're seeing all these kind of things come to pass. So, hey, man, the prophecies, once one, we see them one by one. And Lord willing, the Lord bring the rest of them this year, man. All right. And he already started putting um, chips in people's brains. Mm -hmm. seen, a, seen a couple incidents. The guy was like 80 something years old. He could yeah, type with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The message, a text, a tweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, of the most high in vain. So you don't want to take this grace period in vain, man. Because hey, as we are approaching these times, hey, the heavenly father is, it, it, is gonna bring judgment to you people, especially to those that's heard these words, man. You see, because in our uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 26, it says, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the son of man. So as we prophesy on this word, preaching this word, hey, people are forsaking these words, man. And just like when Noah and went into that ark, and when that rain fell down, everybody was trying to get up upon the ark, man. But by that time, it was too late, you see? And just like y'all brothers were saying, man, this year went by fast, man. It was just November. December just went by. Now we are already in 2022, man. You see, and it's gonna keep progressing, man. So you gotta make sure you repent, man. Come back, because it's going to be a time where you're not going to see the men of the Lord on the highways and byways no more, man. Then you fuck. And then that seems to be nearer than we, we, than we believe because, man, these past couple years, man, has been crazy. I mean, it, it, it's exciting times. I know the apostles like to say that. It's exciting times, man. You know, because things last year, things were just happening quick. This year, things back to back, back to back, things are happening. How much more this year? Oh, man. Let another lockdown come. Shit. Woo! Another lockdown come. These people going to go ballistic, man. You know, we're, we're, we're starting to see where, you know, and that's the thing. These people are truly sheeple, man. They go along with whatever Esau say. You know what I'm saying? Put a mask on. You can't do this. You can't do that. With no faith in the Lord. They got a faith in the system. You know what I'm saying? And there's a, a video of uh, the Simpsons about how the Simpsons did it again. And then all of the people, uh, like, got raptured up. You know, and then it was people out there saying, oh, my God, I shouldn't have served with idol gods. Oh, my God, I shouldn't have been gay. You know what I'm saying? And they, they down to get judged by the Lord. And see, that's ultimately what's going to happen with these people. And see, that, that's what Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, goes into. They repent and groan in the spirit because they realize that it's too late. Actually, let me get this while I'm at it. Sirach 27 and 27, 
He that worketh mischief, it shall fall upon him, and he shall not know whence it cometh. You see, so that, that and when that what is that whence it is talking about the time when judgment is going to fall upon you, man. Y'all know when it's going to come. So that's why it says seek the Lord while he is near, man, because it's about to come a time when the Lord is going to be like, all right, that's a wrap, man. When the Lord decides like, this is the moment it all ceases, it's going to be bad out here for the people that don't believe in the Lord, man. You know? So lock your eye. Uh, and how also to confirm what you said, uh, I, you know, through the spirit, we, we feel that another lockdown is coming because at my job, I heard a rumor about another superstore had... 80 people test positive. 80. I think I heard something about that. Yeah. 80. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of people. Hell yeah. They getting ready to shut this thing down, man. Yeah. I got a quick one. Yep. All right. This is a backup of what the brother just brought up. It's Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. It says, For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in the evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time for when it falleth suddenly upon them. So the, the, the destruction of the Lord is going to come suddenly. That's why it says, Rock 5 7, make no tearing, turn to the Lord, put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in that security, meaning in your comfort, you're going to be destroyed. Yeah. True. And real quick, hey, if you can see the Lord judging all our enemies, man. Yep. Fucking polite ass. All right. Uh, 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 rap the news. All right, uh, uh, comfy asses out of there, right? So all the people that are opposing this doctrine, the Lord taking them out, man. Well, how how much more you got to see, man? But they say our people are are uh, hard hearted, stiff necked. You see what I'm saying? You, you we showing you all of the judgments that are happening to the the men that are coming against the doctrine, man. All right, but you, these people are too foolish to see it. So hey, when it's gonna come, that peace and safety, man. When you thought everything was sweet, all right, you better give it the program. Charmers got it. And with polite, you know, this his own tongue fell upon him because he was coming at GMS, you know, uh, that we that we rape, you know, but he, his ass got got put away for uh, for uh, like rape or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Psalm, my shit. Uh, mm -hmm. This is Psalms 33 and 10. It says, "The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught; He maketh the devices of the people of none effect." So this new world order that he saw, you know. You know, these uh these <clears throat> other nations are trying to put together it's gonna to come to naught. You know, even even you even you two thirds your your dreams and aspirations is gonna to come to naught. Alright, and uh verse eleven says the counsel of the Lord is standing forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. So the counsel of the Lord, that's that's what's gonna stand, that's that's what's gonna hold firm in these last days. You know, not not the uh the counsel of Esau, you know, his bringing in his new world order. Only, only the, these words. The scripture say, the scripture say that the words don't don't go out void. Mm -hmm. Come on. Right, Revelation twenty two and twelve. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his word shall be. And you see that with the Lord, He's gonna come back. He's gonna give you rewards. Okay. And I looked up this this uh, on the blue letter here real quick. Basically, uh, my phone tripping, but basically it goes back to righteous rewards or or, or or wicked rewards. You see, and a lot of people they gonna receive the judgment for for their for their lives that they've been living. All right, and the Lord he's he's he says in Second uh, Chronicles thirty six chapter, you know that that he that he gonna uh, that that he sending compassion upon the people. So the Lord he, he's having mercy upon you. All right. And uh, let me get this word reward here. All right, it says, of the rewards which God bestows or will bestow upon good deeds and endeavors of punishment. It says, in both senses, reward and punishment. So that's what the Lord is going to do. All right, and that's that's that the scripture says, make your calling and election sure. You see, so you're supposed to be keeping the laws that you commitment, the laws that you can't keep. All right, the laws that we can't keep in this land. But the scripture says, rehearse the righteous acts. All right, make your body a living sacrifice. Go out to the highways and byways. All right, let your light 
John before men that they may glorify your Father which is in heaven. So it goes farther than just making lessons. How are you conducting yourself when you're not around your brothers? How are you conducting yourself uh, when, when you're in the midst of two thirds? All right, all that is is, is going to be accounted for. All right, the angels they watching. You know, so hey man, that that's the reality of the situation. The angels are watching. The Lord is watching. All right, so you got to get your behavior. You got to get your behavior together, man. That's why the scriptures always come off examining myself, and that's why it, the importance. Whatever uh, fat that you got on your spiritual walk, you got it's time to trim that off, man. All right, because we get closer and closer to the to the day, like the priest Bar said, right? This is the high time to awake out of sleep, man. All right, because at the end of the day, our, our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. All right, who knows? It could be in a couple months, man. You see what I'm saying? Like it's, it could be right around the corner. You never know, and that's why you always got to stay on your watch. We're seeing uh, Babylon falling. We're seeing Esau lose a grip on this place. All right, they thinking about putting Kamala in the office. You see what I'm saying? Oh, a fucking Betty White ass died too. All right, uh, uh, maybe yesterday or the day before, Betty White died. Right. And, and they just a couple of days ago, they interviewed her. They said, how do you stay so healthy so long? This bro said, I stay away from anything green. What? Uh, yes, bro. Wow. <laughs> so, so, you know what I'm saying? Blood blood life shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Eating blood her whole life. You know, but Laura, all right, I'm going I'm to take your ass off. She think. It's a lot, kid. Yeah, that, that, uh... You know that that spirit, Betty White. You know she is it's getting real out here where people are losing their lives left and right. You know, uh, on on so-called Christmas, men were shooting up their children while they were opening gifts. You see what I'm saying? All these things are happening now. We have the Sabbath, which happened on so-called Christmas and so-called New Year's, and the new moon is kicking off too, man. You see, so the Lord letting you know, and they, the apostles, I believe, they said that hasn't happened since 2005. You see, so now we're seeing judgment come out on a heavy level. All right, this is where you read Amos, the fifth chapter, and it talks about how the Lord is going to bring forth his judgment as mighty streams. You see, we're going to see just it coming and coming. When you get pressurized water, it's like getting hit with one of them goddamn uh, firefighter uh, hoses. You know what I'm saying? They, you seen old, old, uh, when they used to shoot Jake in the street with those fire hoses and shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't fight against that thing, man. You know, that's how the Lord's judgment is about to pummel these people in, man. You know? I got something. No, you know, because, hey, all people are truly unbelievers, man. You know, I was speaking with a dude that, you know, at a time he was in the faith, and, you know, just having a conversation. And the man was, you know, basically saying, you know, hey, we at the end. But like you said, he's not conducting himself, conducting himself you know, in a way for him to, you know, show that we at the end, man. Because many men are settled here in Babylon, man. You see, and I want to grab Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 12, and it reads, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will serve Jerusalem with candles and punish men that are settled on their leaves, that say in their heart, The Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. You see, and that's the mindset of the majority of the men here, man, that the Lord will not do good nor evil because, hey, the Heavenly Father hasn't judged them at that moment. You see? But it's gonna be, it's gonna come, it's gonna come upon a time where, hey, the heavenly Father is gonna judge you. You see, and at the time where, it's, hey, where you have repentance, you have mercy. You see, many men take that for granted, but they're gonna have to get hit by those missiles. You see, so it's not a thing to be playing around with, man. Yep. Hey, man, we, we've come to a point. You know, our people just gotta learn the hard way. You know, the, the unbelievers of our people, they gotta learn the hard way because they can't see it. They have no faith, you know. They don't believe, you know. They just, they just, they just dead inside. They really think that they're living their life. They're not living their life, man. You know, the Most High has been very merciful unto our people, man. Reaching His hand out unto our people, sending out His men on the highways and byways, and our people, man. They're just the walking dead, man. So in order for them to understand, they, they gotta receive of that judgment, man, by the Most High, by Yahweh Shemuel Shai. That's right. This is 2 Peter 3, starting at verse 10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. 
seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the unto the coming of the day of the, of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall be, I mean, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. You know, so what, what manner of person are you to be in? You gotta be in holy conversation. You know, uh, wait, uh, hasten on the day of the Lord. All right, because it's gonna come as a thief in the night to people that got their head up their ass. You know, people that's in that in a, in a, in a, in a merch spirit. All right, but it's it's either you, you, you two, it's either two types of people in these last days. Somebody uh, it's either a fool or, or somebody that's wise. All right, you, you, you want to be wise in these last days, and if you're wise, you're gonna be hastened in, in the coming of the Lord. You're gonna be in a uh, holy conversation, good behavior. Man. That's right. Hey, like the brother said, uh. Brother Kevin said, uh, it shall come as a thief in the night. Uh, RT News, they said this is the year of the UFO. That's why they, they, they you see what I'm saying? So they don't realize what they're saying. You see what I'm saying? They'll say things like that and thinking that's just, oh, we're going to see more UFOs, which each year the UFO sightings intensify, right? But of, of the year of the UFO, they're really saying the year of was shot. You see, because if, they, if a UFO comes down in close contact with these people, that means the Lord is here, man. All right, and it's going to be bad for these people. Let me get this real quick. This is Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. So that's that flying roll. Looks like a saucer, man. All right, a so-called UFO, a chariot of the Lord. It says, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that still shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that swears shall be cut off as on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and that shall enter into the house of the thief. Right? This is going to come down, and Esau and Edom is going to see his end when he sees these chariots covering the earth. All right, it's the fathership covering Babylon, man. All right, and it's, they're going to be completely afraid. So y'all better pray. We pray and hoping that this is the year of the UFO, you know. But yeah, y'all saying that stuff, that's going to be your demise, man. All right, you you don't know what you're saying. But through the Spirit, <laughs> the Lord put that on His Spirit to even say that in the first place, man. The year of the UFO, man. And, Lord willing. And only we know, only we can see the things that are actually happening. He saw Edom, he's putting everything in plain sight. You know, it's like these movies, you know, uh, uh, don't look up. See, we look at the movie spiritually, but uh, uh, somebody that's in the world, when they look at that movie, they don't understand what it means. Yep, yep. They don't understand the message that Esau even was putting out there. And it looks like, but there was in that days of Noah spirit in that movie too. Come oh, on. yeah, completely. It was a spiritual movie. Even at the end, you saw they went to Eden. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They went back to Eden, but hey, at the end of the day, the Lord like, nah, fuck that. He still got their ass trapped up in a bad situation. And did y'all know that? Did y'all see the end end where Jonah came back? Jonah Hill? Jonah Hill was still alive. That's some Edomite shit. Uh, my brother sent it to the chat. Jonah Hill was still alive when it, like, remember he was waiting for his mom to come back? Yeah. I guess he, like, got under the rubble and he came back and was like, hey, I'm the only man last on earth. I'm still oh. alive. Yeah. So they I, I, I didn't see that see part. Me either. That's but after he, the credits That's something? after the credits oh, and shit. You know wow. what I'm saying? You see, you know what I'm saying? But that's what they try to do, make it seem like, oh, Eden, Eden might still persevere. Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're right, or Phoenix yeah, rise from exactly. the ashes spirit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he's going to be put under ashes. All right? Esau shall be a stubble. You see, that's really what's gonna come in. They don't understand. <laughs> what should have happened is he came out, changed it to slap right on him. Yep, yep. That's what should have happened. <laughs> man. You know, I, I grab this shovel. You know what I'm saying? Get ready to dig any dead bodies you see around here. You know what I'm saying? But see that that and that's what the uh, the scriptures are. It was spiritual too because the scriptures say they shall say to the rocks, "Fall on us." Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like he was coming out of a bunker because he was in a a NASA space station. So it's kind of like he was coming out of a bunker, right? When, when, when Yahweh Shah would have been standing right there waiting for his ass, man. You see? But they, they try to put in their little wayward ways in these movies. But we through the spirit. And they telling you, don't look up, right? In the year of the UFO, these things aren't happening for no reason, man. They know what's going on, man. But look up for us. your redemption is uh, not. Right. That's right. Huh. Go ahead. I have This is Zephyr chapter 1, verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hasteth greatly, even the voice of even the voice 
of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Verse 15, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloom and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Hey, a day of clouds and thick darkness. That's what we're looking for, man. That day of the Lord is going to be like nothing else, man. You're going to look up and it's going to be dark, all right? It's going to be scary. It's going to be frightening. This, this is going to be like, for the wicked, it's going to be like a horror movie, man. You know what I'm saying? You walking outside, it's dark as shit. You see a chariot. It says, every eye shall see him. And see, that was the thing about spiritual about that movie, too. Everybody kept saying, look up. It's right there. We can see it outside now. You know, Revelation 1 and 7, every eye shall see him, man. It's going to be dark. It's going to be gloomy. It's going to be terrifying. All right? But the, the elect going to be like, hey, Lord willing, we are that number. We're going to be giving praise to the Lord, man. And then our world is going to be brightened up by them beams. Well, these people going to be getting zapped. And that's going to be a funny thing. Christians going to be thinking they about to get beamed and delivered. And the Lord going to zap their ass, man. <laughs> it's going to be over. They're electrified, man. You know, uh, disintegrated like when uh, Mars the Martian used to hit them with that gun and they turned into a pile of ashes. That's what's going to happen to these people, man. You know? You got it. It's Tyrak 10 and verse 10. The physician cut off, it's like the physician cut up off a long disease. All right. And who's the, who's the disease in the earth? Esau, right, Esau Edom. Edom. All right. Two thirds of our people, because they're taking all the ways of Esau, Edom. They're helping for that vibration and the other nations. And it says, and he that is he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. And one of these days, that's that prophecy will be fulfilled. Okay, let me jump down to verse 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the most high and his heart is turned away from his maker. You know, and two thirds of, of our people, they turned away their their heart, which is going back to their mind, they turned it away from from Yahweh and they really gonna they're gonna seal the deal once they once they take that um that 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 chip you know that rice grain, all right uh, verse thirteen for the pride is the beginning of sin and he that hath hath it shall pour out an abomination and therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly you see the Lord he's gonna bring strange calamities upon the wicked, okay? They're going to be seeing uh, apparitions, all right? Uh, ghosts going to be haunting them. All type of things. Spirits out here created for vengeance, all right? It's going to, it's going, you're going to have psychos out here going crazy, all right? In uh, verse 14, the Lord have cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meat in their stead, you know? And that's what we fighting for, you know, for, 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 for a spot, you know? A roster spot, you know? Verse 15, the Lord have plucked Plucked up the root of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their place. All right, so Lord, He gonna He gonna establish uh, judgment. He gonna establish righteous righteousness on the earth. All right, and and we gonna bring forth Yahweh Shemal Shai judgments. Lord will it. All right, verse sixteen. The Lord overthrew the countries of the heathens and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth. All right, so Lord, you know the, the, the earth is gonna flourish again. All right, but but in order for that to happen, the Lord he gotta, he gotta, he gotta destroy. Uh, he gotta destroy, you know, and, and, and plant, uh, and plant righteousness, you know, because if the root is, is unclean, all right, then that plant is gonna grow up unclean as well. So the Lord, he gotta, you know, pluck up all the wickedness of the earth and plant righteousness. He gotta cleanse our land, you know. He gotta cleanse this place of the blood, you know. The Lord gotta clean this place up, man, you know. And then and, and, and the elect are gonna be with them, the hundred and forty-four thousand and the one third. You know, yeah, but this whole place gotta be cleaned up. It's a lot. Can you read verse nineteen too? Because you say in that plant. Uh, you want me to just keep reading? Or right. we'll just jump down. We can just jump down. Yeah. All right, God. Uh, Sirach ten and verse nineteen. They that fear the Lord are. Unless you were already planning to read that. Uh, <coughs> okay. All right. All right, God. Sirach ten and nineteen. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed, and they that love Him. And honorable plant. They that regard not the law are are a dishonorable seed. They that transgress the commandments are a deceivable seed. You see that? So that's plain right there, man. If you follow after the Lord, then hey, it says that you're a sure seed. Okay? But if you transgress in this law, statutes, commandments, you're a dishonorable seed, man. All right, and the Lord, the Heavenly Father and His Son are absolutely men of honor. All right, they, 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 and what do you think they want? Men of honor, what, what around them? They want other honorable men. 
All right, but the Lord is not concerned with a dishonorable seed. All right, somebody who has no honor, somebody that does. And then that's the thing you got to be aware of. Men that don't care about honor, men that don't uh, uh, like uh, integrity, you got to be careful about those men, man. Okay, because honor is something that every man should want to attain. Integrity is something that every man should want. But we're not living in a generation of people that are wicked. They don't care about honor. They don't care about being righteous. They don't care about having integrity. So what do you think the Heavenly Father's going to do with them? With the dishonorable seed, he's going to destroy it. Just as in, if you're trying to grow a plant and you're saying that it's just not, you're watering it, you're putting sun to it, hey, eventually you're going to be like, hey, yo, something's not working there, you just get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? But the one that was working with the sun and the water, which is the Lord giving us his word, his law, such as commandments, and helping us understand it, he's going to keep growing and growing, and that's the one you're going to deal with. The other one you're just going to completely get rid of, man. Like, hey, that might, shit might as well go in the trash. It's not, it's not growing. Right. You know? And just like in the army, you know, um, they got something where you get kicked out, you got dishonorable leave. Dishonorable Ooh. discharge. You no, know, dishonorable discharge, yep. yep. You know? yep. And, and you're not welcome, you're not welcome back. You, you can't, you can't, um, you can't, can't reapply anymore. Mm -hmm. You know? Now you, you, get, you, you pretty much get disassociated from society, man. Yeah. Dishonorable discharge. Yeah. 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 Man, it's gonna be hard to get a job. It's gonna be hard to do a lot of things, man. Yeah. And they they uh I I saw a guy today, uh, you know, the panhandlers and shit on the freeway. Uh uh what the fuck you say? Uh, uh retired veteran. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn, a man of poverty, a man of war of poverty. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you out here struggling. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even looking. You walk past my window. I just kept looking straight. I'm like, you fucking through. Look what look at what your government cares about you. You know, but he could have got a dishonorable discharge. But even those who got honorable discharge, the government still don't look after them. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord are gonna look after his army. All right, the men that are serving him, all of us, Lord willing, we those men, we're going to be well taken care of. While uh, all of those that have gotten dishonorable discharge, hey, they're going to, they, they, they're, they're going to receive, if they might not walk around with a sign, but they ass is going to get hit with a missile, you know, for being wicked, man. And if we get the dishonorable discharge, you don't get the benefits. Yep, yep, that's right. So you're not going to. Spiritually, they're not going to get the benefits of salvation and being the first fruits yeah. and everlasting contempt. Yeah, they're going to be super sad. They ain't going to be too sad because they're going to be in the kingdom, but they're going to be sad about what the decisions that they've made. Mm -hmm. That's right. I got it. And this is Luke 13, backing up what the brother said. Luke 13 and 6, and he spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then he said unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why come or fit the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after thou shalt cut it down. That's pretty much what the brother was saying earlier, man. If you ain't if you ain't bringing forth fruit, you're gonna get cut off, man. Right? What better is a tree taking up space that it doesn't provide you any fruit, man? Right. Same thing with like a child, you know, disobedient child, what, what, you know, what you gonna do? You just gonna stop them. Yep, you know? exactly. And I got a, another quick one about me. This is 2nd Ezra 4, starting at verse 26. It says, Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. For the world hasteth fast to pass away, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. And we're seeing that, man. This world is full of all types of unrighteousness and wickedness, man. And, and infirmities. Look at everybody catching the um catching the boogeyman pirates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, everybody on depressants, all right, yep. everybody on um, depression drugs, everybody, uh, you know, on, on medication. Right. You know? Verse 28. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and in the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. Break back up what the brother was saying. The roots are wicked in this place, so the branch is gonna be wicked. So the Lord, he gotta pluck up the wickedness and, and, and sow the good root, uh, roots so the branch could be righteous. And it says, it says, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down in the place, it's like, did I just read that? Verse 30, it says, for the grain of evil seed hath been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning, and how much ungodliness hath they brought up unto this time, and how much shall it yet bring forth unto the time of threshing come? You see, so think about it. This world has been given to evil since the time of Adam all the way till now, man. You gotta imagine how much judgment the Lord is about to bring down for the grain of evil seed that's been sown in the sons of men. And uh, I had a homeboy in the world, a Benjamin homeboy, you know, and uh, one day I was going to his crib, and they were like out in the front yard. 
And I said, what y'all doing? Him and his brother. He was like, yeah, we're picking weeds. Mm. I'm like, y'all picking weeds? Because, you know, we come from a time where let's just throw some fertilizer on that thing yeah. and let the weeds die. Mm. Nah, they have to go individually and pick up all the weeds from the grass. I'm like, oh, man. But that's that spiritual. Yep, yep. You know, that's the that's the actual the right way of doing it without polluting the uh, without polluting the grass. Oh. You guys got finals. I got one more. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna try to get y'all to bring out because we, we we you know we were gonna try to keep going through the spirit, but uh, we sure the apostles gonna go live soon. So we just wanted to get a lesson out, you know, to, before they go live. But any brothers got any other ones I want to hit? All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it on this because at the end of the day. We talk about New Year's Eve and destruction. We talk about the calamity, the chaos, the dreadful things that are coming. But we have a different expectation than uh, those terrible things. You know what I'm saying? So we always got to be in the spirit of expecting good things to happen to us. At the end of the day, yeah, we in hell. We go through the fire and we got straights and different things like that. But at the end of the day, your expectation got to be the good from the Heavenly Father for following after him. Right? So this is Baruch 4 and 21. Be of good cheer, O my children, cry unto the Lord, and he shall deliver you from the power and the hand of the enemies. For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you, and joy is come unto me from the Holy One, because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. You see, so, hey, we're going to be delivered, Lord willing, man. And this Lord willing is sooner than we believe, man. All right, so you brothers and sisters, you few sisters, y'all stay inspired, stay encouraged. All right, keep fighting through this thing. Whatever this new year brings, may it bring more dread to Babylon and make more peace and, uh, and uh, blessings upon your households, man. So with that, we want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakhudash. The waters to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom. Abba the ball. Abba the ball. Kwam Yashal.